It's time now for our Sunday specials tonight on TVC News at 10. And this has to do with reports that Nigeria may face a shortage of agricultural produce in the coming months as severe flooding continues to ravage farmlands across the country. In the northeastern state of the, in the state of Taraba, farmers are being forced to harvest their immature crops and they feel this will save them from possible starvation. TVC News, Sarah Yeku visited some flood-ravaged communities to capture the farmer's plight. If this is your first time in Taraba State, you will easily be enthralled by the beautiful clouds and intimidating mountains conjoined at a distance. Even frequent visitors and indigents of the warrior clan cannot get enough of the beauty and shield nature has preserved for decades. But beneath the lush green and beautiful mountains, as well as the things that make the indigents and residents of this state happy, lies the pains of many locals along the southern part of Taraba. Floods of pain caused by heavy rainfall and the overflowing of the Lagdo Dam in Cameroon. And all the houses so much, all the farmlands are so much. So we are left with a horrible problem of starvation for the coming year. And we need serious, serious assistance from the federal government to be able to help. To the locals, it is a familiar enemy that comes to steal time and whatever is in its wake, killing the helpless and destroying homes and farmlands. This year, it has become more ferocious, perhaps the worst the state has witnessed in recent times. The government says not less than 14 persons have been killed, with a number of persons still missing. The locals are scouting for what to eat. The floods come with a great consequence for food security, leaving tears in its wake. Today trouble. All our planning, we know even get to say we go go far, far bush uh, farm because of uh, the kidnappers. We don't plan for near our houses. One who can get what we can eat, see what rain can do for us. We are crying. Now we are staying in hunger. All our budget is for here, but the water can't collect it. That is why we are crying for government, including local government, state government, and federal government. That is why we are crying in, on behalf of our people. Would they wahala? Would they suffer? Seriously. Tar Haruna is a rice farmer in Gasol local government area of the state. He and his siblings are racing against time, harvesting what's left of their rice field. With a the boat, they paddle through the floods in a bid to rescue their crops. <laughs> The 
mu tashi mu yi sannan kuma da taimaka mana mu wa mu ga mun tashi mun taimaka mana kasa da mu so that mu mu ci gaba tallafin da muke so gwamnati da mana gaskiya yana da yawa iri babu abincin ci ma kai noma ma wani babu wani gashi nan da lafiyan sa ba abincin ci ya tashi ya nema kuma ba hali wani ka tashi ka nema ma ana kashe ka gaskiya muna son gwamnati da taimaka mana da ta kawo mana karshen wayannan abubuwan ko kuma zaman lafiya dai faru da mu ko kuma ba mu san ya abun yanzu zai kasance da mu ba amma muna fatan Allah ya kawo mana sauki duka da mu da su duka kuma Allah ya ba su hadin kai da su yi mana mu gani mu ma mun karu da shi shine fatan alherin da na nema a gurin gwamnati inda hali kenan su taimaka mana somebody is in there need some people have died so we are trying to help them at least to have food to feed and then relocate them uh, and we have uh, supplied a lot of uh, materials to them all over uh, the state trying to see how we can help we have also written the federal government to assist us because we definitely definitely need a lot of assistance to be able to rehabilitate the people to be able to give them enough food to eat to be able to provide shelters for them and in some instances we have to as a matter of necessity to relocate them to a higher plane Recent heavy rainfall has had major impacts on communities and states across Nigeria. One of such states is Taraba State. We're in Ibi local government area of the state and we understand that floods have taken over farmlands and houses in about 12 local governments out of 16 local governments in the state. We're trying to speak with some of the locals here to tell us how much this has impacted their lives and livelihood. I have one of these women um, here. She tells me that in her own compound about five persons have died. The government has told us that about 300,000 persons displaced across communities around this local government. Um, so, how have you been affected by this flood? Talk to us. Jirgi na ya nuta da su mutun sama da 30 a jirgi daya an mutu a gidan mu duka gawon ma uku muka gani ba mu ga biyo ba sannan kuma gidajen mutane gonaki in ba gwamnati ta sa hannu ta tallafa ba wani ma zai kawo sanadin mutuwan sha'ibi local government saboda gonaki gaba daya babu chairman karaman hukuma da sarkin ibi su suka ga yanzu suka nemi gidaje suka ba ma mutane suke suka fake suke neman abinci suke ba su duk inda kika sani gonaki a yankin ibi gaba daya babu shi duk inda gona yake babu shi akwai wanda ya zuba sama da miliyan 40 30 na shinkafa babu shi kuma har yanzu ruwan nan yana cin ran mutane yana kashe mutane amma sarkin ciyaman karamin hukuma da sarkin gari shine suke kama mutane doki yanzu daga nan har ya tafi har damfar har sarkin kudu babu gonan mutun eh wanda ya rage wannan gona ne na dan mutun ruwa ya ci kowani irin kabila ruwan nan ya kashe wallahi gidan mu mutun biyar mutum biyar suka mutu a gidan mu a cikin ruwa mutum biyar the state government has regularly attempted to uh, uh, to try to assuage the challenges that uh, people displaced people and others face they've always provided uh, humanitarian uh, supplies like uh, food items and non-food items where we need to, re, uh, to reconstruct buildings and the like. But uh, at this very moment, this flood in Taraba State is unprecedented. We haven't had it like this for the past decade. The only thing near this one happened in uh, the year 2012. So it appears it has a, a, a decade cycle when 
this thing keeps recurring. So, but we didn't expect that the damage done will be this much at the moment. Along the Jalingo Wukari Federal Highway, bridges are under immense pressure from the flood. This is Namne Bridge in Gasol local government area of Taraba State. After it was rehabilitated, it is becoming weak and the concrete supporting the bridge is gradually giving way. As the floods continue to ravage communities here, the echoes of their pleas are resounding to save communities from extinction. Sarah Ayehu, TVC News, Taraba.